What's up guys? Welcome back to another cast game. Uh today we have Sambi playing as Germany up here on the northwest on Defer. This map is I believe, but it doesn't appear because I think it's a wreck. Uh and down here in the south we have multiple sclerosis um aka the infamous Osteo playing as the toxic Italy. Um, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. So, Sambi, uh, definitely known for his USA builds, right? Uh, he loves to play USA, but he also loves to play Germany, and he loves to go for a more Merc-styled approach. But I don't think he goes, like, straight Mercs. He kind of mixes them in, which is what Germany kind of likes to do. They've got really good Merc shipments and uh, some Merc cards to buff them, so... We'll see if uh, he goes down that route with Germany. Uh, maybe he'll just do the classic like Ulan semi FF. Um, but I mean, he's going into Italy, so he might he he probably needs some siege, right? He might need to uh, yeah figure out how he's going to take down all of Italy's buildings. Uh, oh, we've got a treasure contention. How much is this? Eighty coin. Who's going to get it? I think Sambi got that, yeah. And does he have more HP as well? No, he's, he's got to run away. Because um, he needs to drop that TP in transition, so... Maybe he can try to get the snare and... Run away? Or he's just going to keep walking into the safety of his TC, I think. Uh, let's have a look at Osteo. So he's playing Italy. He's getting his market techs, it seems. Uh, last time I casted Italy... It was Carp, and Carp did a 14 vil age up, but it looks like, I was gonna say he's doing like a, whatever amount of vils with 10 pop, but he, he was just late to build his house. Um, so he's gonna still be making vils, it seems, and maybe 16 vil age up? We'll wait and see. Um, interestingly, building the native as well. So, I think the Sudanese gives the Red Sea Wagons. Uh, and they can train these Dervish as well. Uh, I, f I don't know what else they get, but... Uh, we'll see what he does with that. We'll see if it goes for the Berbers as well, which is another very good native. Just because you can train these Berber Vils. And Berber Camels are just such a unique unit, actually. Um, in that they do melee damage that's uh that has multis against heavy cav but they're light cavalry but they do melee damage it's interesting uh also really good uh native because they have this salt mine uh so if you're ever transitioning to estates you actually want to and you're on a map with berbers you'd want to send this salt mine instead because the gather rate is still better on a salt mine than on upgraded estates i believe uh yeah Maybe this game gets to that late stage, I don't know. Uh, what's he going up with? The governor. I think that's standard for Italy. And um, yeah, so Germany's going up with Cordmaster. It looks like he's going to be dropping that TP. Uh, all his vills are on wood, so yeah, I'd assume so. Uh, let's have a look at Dex. So this is Sambi's 1v1 Merc. Yep, has all the Merc cards. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm not... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, where were we? Uh, he's got Palatine Settlements, got Silversmith. That's always good for Mercs. Um, has the standard Merc shipments in age 3. You don't tend to see Bozzes as Germany or the Merc upgrade very often, but uh, they're good additions nonetheless. Uh, has Sigur Roller as well. It's a very late game card. Six settler wagons as well, so yeah, nice deck can definitely do um, some different things as Germany, something you wouldn't expect. Uh, Osteo, yeah, so he shipped those red sea wagons and he's gonna get he's just gonna build two outposts with them, it seems. So yeah, already we can tell that uh, he's gonna play, play defensively, gets another outpost from the age up as well. I don't know where he's going with that. Does he want to place that in the middle somewhere? 
he's he's going to place it next to the native TP, um, which he is now building. Second TP for Sambi as well. Uh, let's have a look at the deck again. So capitalism into Yufuzi has the Merc shipments as well. Infinite two outposts, which is an interesting card. He obviously doesn't want to be rushed. He wants a safe, easy transition to H3 slash four. Um, has a fort card, has Freemasons as well, which is <laughs> quite a crazy card. If you remember a few patches ago, this allowed you to build like infinite forts with, um, I think the, a, a certain revolt. It was, it was insane. Uh, but yeah, kind of standard stuff, uh, apart from that. Wow. I've never seen this card. Papal Arsenal. Allows your papal units to get a charged attack. It'll be so interesting if we see that sent. Oh my goodness. Um, Alright, so he's making Burma Nomads, which is honestly probably the best unit to make here. Especially against Germany. So that's really nice decision making from Osteo. Uh, he's still getting some uh, text for his vills. Four Burma Nomads coming out. They're gonna catch these um ulans if he's not careful and i think they're faster as well yeah they've got seven speeds so they'll eventually catch up uh sabi might just have to sack his ulans and try and kill as many bird nomads as possible or if he finds a veil he might want to pick up a veil but uh yeah they're gonna get caught and snared so may as well just try to do damage instead of run away yeah oh nice osteo i didn't know he was capable of micro like that but uh, it seems like he is <laughs> uh, Osteo is so frustrating to play against man like when he plays Inca like the raids are just it makes you want to like scream you'll be pushing into his base and then suddenly all your vills like on an exposed coin mine are just gone because uh, Tenchi who just cleaned them up like he doesn't care about losing his base at all he just wants to go find all your vills and kill them all Sambi picking up 175 XP. That is so good for Germany. Um, and he's actually on the way up to H3, Exile Prince. So he did like a semi-FF. Semi Has a tavern. De Zitschirera. Apologies. Um, all right. Going to be making the, uh, the Barbary Corsair pirates i think these outlaws are like terrible but we'll see what he does has all his settler wagons on coin uh does osteo see the tavern no he doesn't so he doesn't know what to expect uh he's just building up his base doesn't even have a military production building apart from these natives looks like he's going to be going to h3 though just shipped advanced politicians uh, he'll be on his way up. Let's go back to Sambi. Barbary Corps says out. So they do 28 melee damage, which is pretty decent. And they have a lot of HP and like high melee resist as well. So if they, they're like a rod. They're, they're literally a rod. But they have more HP and they cost like so much. 180 coin? That seems really expensive. But they, I mean, yeah, they're like a, the Rodolero. Uh, Berber Nomads kind of dotted around the place. More Barbary Corsairs being made. Minutemen being popped. So he might want to back out of here. Berbers catch the Ulans. He might pick off an Architect, which I don't know if is a good trade. Because he'll just remake it and he loses all his Ulans, which kind of sucks. It kind of feels bad. Uh, covered wagon did osteo send that i think that was the um no that must have been the age up bonus uh all right more barbary corsairs just sieging over here got some raids if he can pick up a veal that'd be nice but it doesn't seem like he's going to sammy also gets the native does he is he going to be making the vills doesn't seem like it Maybe he wants to make the Berber Camels. 
Um, all right, Ulan's doing some scouting. They're just going to run into these Minutemen. Oh, is he going to pick up a bill? I think he will. Good pickup. <laughs> these Ulan's just getting shredded. Uh, Falk's popping for Ostia. And did I see Falk's for Sambi? I did. Okay, so we're going to have a two Falk face off as Germany. And he's also going greedy. He's building a second TC on the 5,000 coin mine, which is really nice. Often on this map, it's always really good to get these uh, middle coin mines. Well, not that one, just this one here, because it has 5,000 coin in it, uh, the, the gold mine. So it's nice that he's got that um, map control of this area. Looks like he wants to pick up 175 food as well. Uh, sending the Merc combat card, improved mercenaries. Uh, but these are outlaws, so... Oh no, they're mercenaries. I apologize. I thought they were outlaws. So that's going to buff them up to 32 attack. 360 HPs. That's pretty decent. That's a lot of HP, really. Uh, but nice base layout from Osteo here. It'll make it really hard for... Sammy to push in. It'll make his, it'll mean his raids have to go like around the outside and his units just can pick them off behind the safety of the walls. Falks rolling up. They're gonna pick off two pirates here. More Ulan's going down. So I feel like Ostia is getting like the better trades early on. Getting some nice Falk shots. Is he gonna No, just pulls away. Nice micro by Sambi, but he's gonna throw away his Barbary Corsairs, it feels, and Falk goes down for Osteo, but he's going to lose two here for Sambi. Alright. Wow, those Berber camels just melted. <laughs> I did not expect them to go down that fast. Um, I guess they picked off the Falk, so that's not a bad trade for Osteo. He still has one alive, so he'll be happy with that. Sambi has to retreat. Osteo sending free masons. What does he want to do with that? I guess he just wants to build a whole bunch of buildings with his architects. He already has four again. I'm pretty sure he's already lost two. So I'm sure we're going to see him just expand out onto the map. He might go over to this coin mine. Might try work over here. He's got nice line of sight, actually. Um, or over this area he does. He, he wants to probably expand this way. Uh, definitely up towards this mine there. Um, but we do see that fort for Osteo, so he doesn't want anyone pushing into his base. <laughs> the toxic outpost spam. Oh man, do you remember when Italy could do this in H2? With their architects. Oh, it was the most frustrating thing. It literally just ensured that the game would go like plus 20 minutes. But now I feel like Italy is can be vulnerable to rushes because they changed it so architects can't build outposts in h2 i think which i think is a really good change or they can only build one or something like that um all right what's uh ulan's raiding over there they're not gonna find anything sambi just happy to kind of do some sieging here spies coming for Osteo, so we'll see if they can be that effective. Remember, he can only train them in batches of three from the church. He can't actually, like, um, train one unit. They have to come, kind of like Russia, like, he can only ship three at a time through the church. And they act as kind of like a, a shipment. So if he ships something else, it has to wait till the spies come in. Uh, but I don't know if three spies is going to do much. Like, Sammy's done a really nice job but he's mixing in Ulans and war wagons and falcs to supplement his uh barbary corsairs um and Austria is just happy to kind of sit behind all his fortifications Sammy really can't afford to push in here he might want to maybe come in from the side here and I, I hope that's what he does I feel like he needs to keep the pressure up against Italy not let Italy run away with building too many units um or booming behind all that infrastructure. Uh, let's go back to Sambi. What's he up to? He's on 43 bills. 
Uh, he's currently housed, but uh, he's shipping skirms. I wonder if we're going to see any of these uh, Merc shipments coming in. Oh, Senna Horseman. That's a great pick in the tavern. Look at these guys. 1100 HP. Very nice unit there. Burb is going to be doing some raiding. He's going to finally see that TC for Osteo. So he knows he's kind of... Yeah. He knows sambi has got the map and he's just going to be mining there. So maybe that's an area he wants to push. Scores up for Osteo though. Uh, and how many Vils is he on? So 47. They're like equal in uh, their Vils. But he's going to age 4. That's ballsy. With all these units, a lot of them being mercs in your base. I don't... I don't know if that's a good decision. He's going up with the Papal Guard, so he'll get units on Age Up, but he's just got to survive till then. Uh, Spy's just dying. Uh, picks up the Falk as well. All the Vils have to go idle because of the pressure that Sammy's putting on. He can't push under this though, so we'll see what he does at the moment. And once Osteo gets to H4, you know, he's going to have access to some powerful shipments like the Papal Bombards. Imagine if he sends this, right? The Papal Company. <laughs> Three Papal Bombards, 18 Papal Guard. I feel like that would be a, just a game ender if Sambi's still in H3. Um, but he's got a good mass of units here and he's just got to keep the pressure up. 157 pop for Sambi and Osteo's on 60. So nearly triple, definitely triple or quadruple the military pop for Sambi here. Does Osteo have any units? He's got like three, four camels. But uh, he gets up to H4, gets the Papal Guard. Uh, and they're going to do well against really any Cav. I don't know how they trade into Barbary Corsairs. Probably quite evenly, because they have similar HP. Well, they, they have range resist. Barbary Corsairs have a... They got melee resist. So I think the um these pirates will actually win. Alright, Papal Lancers on the way. Followed by uh, one of the res shipments. Sieging this TP here for Sambi. And he feels like he can push into this. He's not scared of getting units popped on him. I feel like he thinks he's in a good position, and I think he is as well. He's got the map control. He really wants to try get some of these vills. But, uh, yeah, th this outpost spam is kind of preventing that. More outposts going up. Holy moly, how many... Six outposts here for Osteo. Looks like the fort will go down. That's a lot of Senna horsemen. Holy moly. And some, they got buffed as well. Maybe that was Cav Karas. So that's that's scary as Osteo. I don't think he wants to be taking a fight anytime soon. Uh, Jaegers on the way for Sambi as well. That's going to be a really nice supplement to this unit comp. You know, he's going to have Siege. He's going to have Cav. He's going to have Anti-Cav. And he's going to have hard-hitting skirms. Uh, pick off some bills. He doesn't want to lose his Falx. Oh, boy. We actually see it. Papal Company on the way. That's 3,000 res. Right? Wow, that's like a revolt. Osteo is like revolting right now. The Batards. I don't know if that's a good decision. But uh, maybe they'll take down what... One outpost, if any. Okay, one goes off and it does 1,600 siege to an outpost. Doesn't even take one down. But a lot of hills going down. There's nothing really left for Osteo here. He's just got a few units. But uh, where did all Sammy's units go? Like, where's his... I guess he's just got these center horsemen and they've got to get wrecked by the Papal Guards. And they're just about to pop as well. Oh, get out of there, Sambi. He doesn't know it's coming. That they got to come from here? What? Osteo. Why wouldn't you pop it from this outpost? That 
Ah, oh, imagine if he popped it from this outpost. Holy moly. Uh, anyway, that's got a force Sambi back, so he's happy with that. Look, already, another TC goes down. Somehow he has 110 housing pop. I don't know where that came from, because he was on 60, like, two minutes ago, and all his infrastructure got sieged down. Oh, dear. Lots of ills gonna go down here. Picks up two vills, that's crazy. Uh, another vill, probably fourth. Wow! <laughs> Ragdoll! You'd hate to be that vill. <laughs> just flung halfway across the map. Um, alright, so... Austria just has a lot of res. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. He needs to spend it on... Units, really. Um... Sambi is going H4 himself, which is the right decision. He's got his Jaegers here. Gotta be careful of these Bombards. Maybe he wants to make some Colves? Um, there's really nothing else that will counter these Bombards at the moment, apart from Colves. Um, however, Osteo doesn't... Oh dear. Argentina. Uh, and Sambi has to get out of here. He's gotta get out of here real fast. These goons are gonna... Destroy and and the revolutionary as well as well gonna destroy these cav and he's just gonna he's nice He's saving the center horseman and sacking just a few ulan skirms and this low hp falc uh, Yeah, saving those units is the right call and maybe he can even heal them up um, Yeah, like one's on really low hp if he just makes a few priests he could get them right back to hp um, full hp which would be I think a good decision Um Grenadaro is on the way for Osteo, and that's that's a GG shipment right there. Um, is it the, the 20? Uh, yeah. So it's the 20 Grenadaros. Oh, Morville's going down. Osteo, mate! You can't leave your bombards out like that. And if he loses these bombards, that's... That's terrible. He might pick off all the Senna Horsemen, but he could have saved them and done that as well. Oh, Osteo. That could have been so nice. Here comes the Grenadaros, and they could make light work of this army, I feel. Ah, oh, I mean, there's Jaegers, I don't know, and th this is full heavy infantry goons, so Jaegers will just do amazing against all of this, all of these units here for Osteo. And he just has to keep kiting, I think, and he'll be fine. Um, Sammy has heavy cannons on the way, which is like, the perfect shipment right now. Popping Miniman. I think he's going to be fine. And, uh... Yeah, there's still so many Jaegers left. Heavy Cannons pop. There's not many Pikes left. Or Papal Guards. And... Yeah. I think Sabi held really nicely there. Um... Grenadar is running around. Oh, they want to catch these Vils. Dude. Imagine if Sambi Argentina revolts as well. I'm pretty sure Germany has Argentina. Um, I can't check that, but I'm 90% sure. Uh, yeah, so picking up a few Vils here, that's nice for Osteo, but he's losing all his units in the meantime. And is that a good trade? Germany's on 57 Vils. Obviously, Osteo's on none. Oh, he's got two, because he must have shipped um, citizenship. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's the Architects. So, Architects count as Vils. I think I just learned that. But he, <laughs> he's still just building everything. Because obviously they don't get converted to a... Or maybe he train... Oh, I can train them. Wow. So they can just rebuild Osteo's entire base. San Martin coming in. That's going to be more pain for Sambi, more Grenadaros. He might want to decide if he wants to eat these cows. Uh, I guess they're not very fat at the moment, but uh, you could get a really nice sandwich here if he pulls his other, other units in. The eggs are going to go to work here. Uh, he's going to sack the heavy cannons, it seems, but uh, Osteo wants to just go after the units. And oh, that's a nice volley onto the goons. 
Sam Marston here to snare. But the Jaegers just seem to not die. They have 288 HP, 40 range resist. So, yeah, I mean, the Grenadaras do siege damage, right? So that kind of negates all of that. But uh, these Jaegers have just come in clutch, really. Um, yeah, kiting away, picking off all the units, and what does Osteo have left in the bag? Nothing. Sambi takes the win. GG. Wow. I feel like Sambi played that just so nicely. He kept calm, um, arguably against the best Revolt Civ in the game. People say it's better than Age 5. Uh, I tend to agree with that. Um, Age 6 units, as uh, Hazza once said. Um... But yeah, well played, Sambi. Uh, I liked this Merc build. It was like a Merc hybrid build. So he, he made units and he just ships some of the um, the mercenaries. Oh, sorry, that's that's Osteo. He ships some of the mercenaries and he made some as well. Those uh, those Burberry Corsairs, that, they were a pleasant surprise. And uh, they uh, surprised me. I didn't think they were going to perform that well, but uh, they did. Let's have a look at the post game. Wow, uh, double the res for Sambi. Yeah, that's good stuff. Was very similar vil count for the entire game until he was pushing in. Obviously, when the revolt happened, that was a uh, went to zero. Uh, military pop. Wow. So Sambi just had a commanding lead, but it still took him about twenty minutes to even. I don't know, force a reaction from Osteo. Like, Osteo had barely any units the entire game. I guess this doesn't count natives, I don't think. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it does. But I still just couldn't do any damage. Was Just had to siege, which is the frustrating thing going into Italy. All res gathered. It's just so much more for Sambi. So, yeah, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of this Merc hybrid build from Sambi. And uh, if uh, maybe going Argentina wasn't the right decision for Osteo. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.